Hello guys, today I would like to introduce the new patch version of Open Constructor and also show uh, how to make a perfect scan. Uh, so okay, uh, what's new in this version? It's uh, just uh, that on Asus Zenfone AR, uh, the pose uh, correction didn't work correctly. It's, it's because that uh, Google used totally different coordinate system uh, for the function uh, getting trajectory. Okay, so I'm running this on Lenovo because on Asus Zenfone AR uh, the telephone has a really bad hardware and uh, it's, uh, it's some kind of unstable. It's also caused that uh, the Asus Zenfone AR uh, doesn't have full Tango functionality. Uh, there are some functions which are not implemented and uh, some functions which are really unstable on this device. So if you uh, really want to use it on Asus Zenfone AR, you can use it. Uh, maybe you will have to time to time uh, delete uh, ADFs in settings, Tango, Clear, uh, Learned Areas. Um, sometimes I install Tango Core, or what I can suggest you uh, to go in uh, to GitHub uh, and to search for Tango Binary, and then you can um, download the, the older open constructor which doesn't use this advanced functions. So, okay, that was about. Asus and let's take a look into settings. The landscape mode that's uh, just to make a nice video. And okay, so voice interaction. Uh, this function close uh, holes in models. You have almost no possibility to cover everything by scanning. There will be always some hole. And by this function, it will be closed. The problem is. Uh, uh, multi-session. Multi-session means that uh, you scan, then you uh, pause it, and then you continue scanning. Uh, if you do this, uh, the geometry will be decimated and you will have much more memory. But in uh, in the case of uh, Poison Reconstruction, this doesn't work. In the end, there will be used a lot of memory. So to sum up, uh, if you are Using uh, poison reconstruction, uh, you can uh, uh, you can just use this limitation. If you are not using poison reconstruction, you have this limitation only just uh, for per session. So that means that you scan uh, one area and then you pause it. It will be decimated, and then you can continue scanning and. You can scan uh, really big things with it, but without uh, poison reconstruction. Uh, poison reconstruction has uh, disadvantages. If you scan a small object with it, it will make uh, crazy artifacts around. And okay, another thing, if uh, you have, um, if you scan uh, flat, and you will have uh, closed doors there. Uh, these doors will be, or let's say, if you uh, scan uh, two rooms, it will be two separated uh, rooms, and uh, there will be closed door between these rooms. It will happen that these doors may have a hole using Poisson reconstruction. Okay, so uh, the great function is post correction. That means uh, that after finishing uh, scanning, it will uh, rerun the process again and use the corrected process because there is always some drift and so on. So this should, it won't uh, fix it completely, but it should uh, reduce the um, blur textures and the um, inexact value or dimensions of model. Okay, so post a regular correction. And as I said, problems on Asus. 
but it uh, since this update should somehow work on it. Um, your time knows further. Uh, if you scan and you come uh, too close to object, uh, the depth sensor will indicate really inaccurate things, and this will cause uh, problems in the model. With uh, noise filter, it it can be removed. It works like that. It finds really a small part of a model which are not connected to anything, and it will remove them. Yep. So, uh, real time noise filter. Um, you should use it mainly outside. Outside, it has a really big effect. So, use sharp photos only. Um, this function, um, yeah, normally when you are scanning, you should move really, really slowly to not uh, let your photos to be blurred due to effect, uh, due to movement. But uh, I scanned many times, and also if I scan longer, I lost the control and I make a fast movement and this will make problems on model. So this should, uh, this works uh, the way that it will always wait until you stop moving, then it makes uh, a photo new frame. But uh, for people who are unpatient or scanning really big areas, uh, it will make it uh, really, really slow and painful. You will see. Okay, and space clearing. Uh, it's the function if you scan, for example, a human or someone uh, run uh, behind your camera and uh, it's not uh, there anymore. So if you rescan the area again without the human, uh, the geometry of the um, person will be removed. Theoretically, practically, yeah. Not completely. So okay, this is the settings. So let's make a scan. Uh, you have these values. Um, as I said, it's uh, my estimation how how much you can scan with it. Uh, Google is using uh, greater two centimeters, and I also will scan just a small room, so I will use it now. And yeah, you shouldn't uh, use always the maximum. So, okay, let's start scanning. So uh, note uh, that uh, it's slow because I'm using the uh, sharp photos only function. So, okay, there is a uh, reflective mo material, and uh, this will be put there in, let's say, After Effects uh, when, when I run the po uh, Poison Reconstruction. And I'm sorry uh, to the author of this function, but I really cannot pronounce his name. So as you see with uh, the sharp photos on it, it takes a really longer time, but the uh, result should be much better. So I'm scanning it also here. Um, if I won't scan it, the poison reconstruction would uh, fill it. But the thing is, I wouldn't have all photos, so there would be blurred the surrounding. And yeah, you can uh, by pitch to zoom, uh, zoom a little bit, so you can see what you are scanning. Okay, for example, I see that here is all. Other side over two. And yeah. Uh, when I'm moving to the back, I'm making a risico that 
I will blur the existing objects, but it's a case to make it uh, not complete and blurred. So, okay, this is enough. Uh, was another construction by fillet. The uh, photos of it are captured. So, on the floor, you see that the grid is not fitting. Let's take a look what the post correction will make uh, with it. So, let's make it close here. Ah, I don't want. Yeah, this is uh, something uh, something the Tango's uh, 3D reconstruction library has problem with. Cannot with it anything. It's a rewriting whole Tango, which uh, wouldn't, uh, which would be really necessary, but I don't have such a budget. So we saw probably the drift there. So now it's uh, moved. And let's say for uh, let's see what will happen in post production. So yeah, now it's getting really drifted. And if I have a normal uh, mode, then the model would be now uh, already um, broken. Now the preview is broken, but it uh, will be removed after the processing. And I hope I will get a new and nice model. So let's finish. This area, yeah, now it's jumped again. Uh, the thing is, it's um, it's uh, not enough uh, feature points there, and even with the fisheye camera, it makes some issues. So let's scan it here. Yeah, now the objects are completely in different place. Not jump it again. Okay. Yeah, you see the problem with uh, with uh, motion tracking makes many problems here. So you see, from here it's quite uh, broken. So let's try to process it. Yeah, I scanned uh, quite a lot of data and so the post processing will take longer time. So I think uh, I can make a cut here and uh, join the video sessions together. Now I finish model. So just to Short time. Okay. You can see the post processing take a little bit more as uh, 10 minutes and it uh, drained my battery. But okay, let's take a look on the model. Alright, it's loading. So, okay. As you see here, the problems with broken geometry. It's uh, it was solved during the uh, running the process. What you see here, the ghost, it's uh, it's something what the Google wanted to solve, but uh, the company didn't make it. Uh, 
when uh, the geometry is a little bit uh, decimated and it's uh, smaller than the reality model or reality chair in this case it will make a cause there there's nothing to do okay let's take a look in a 2d and yeah there are some mistakes but i think it's uh, relative sharp yeah the fridge is uh, the fridge is wor uh, worse here it's okay so there's the model uh the here i didn't scan it at all the personal construction caused it and you can see the not scanned parts are done here but they are not correctly mapped okay it's always the um not scanned data which are estimated uh, cannot uh, match uh, exactly yeah my click up here yeah okay so thanks uh, for the watching and have fun with this update goodbye